Coach, it looked like you used an extra defensive back in the box. Uh, they went right down the field on that opening drive, but what adjustments did you make defensively to, to shut them down? Well, the defensive guys, uh, when with their quarterback, who didn't play most of the first half or at all in the first half, he's a zone read guy. He throws a lot and uh, he runs a lot too. So we were playing our defense based on that. And then when he didn't play and they put their uh, best athlete at quarterback and, and basically ran a power offense, what we were doing just didn't match up. So after the first series, uh, they figured out that we put an extra D back down in the box, and which we do a lot. Uh, and we didn't have any trouble stopping them after that. What is it about the wing T? I mean, you're not running a whole lot of plays. It's a lot of the same plays over and over. What is it about it that gives teams so much trouble? Uh, angles and and deception. You know, it's uh, unless you see it a lot, it's very hard to to deal with. You know, and and it's hard to in a, in a week in a short week of preparation to get your kids ready for it. Any magic words at halftime? Because you outscored them 28 to nothing in the third quarter. No, no. I, I think our kids just realized that, you know, we were, we were get we had the better of it, even though uh, we were only up 14, six. And uh, uh, I think the punt block broke their back. And, uh, you know, we, once we got that, then it was, it was smooth sailing after that. If I would have told you during the week that you're going to win 42 to six, what would you have said? <laughs> I would have laughed at you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you lost 25 seniors from last year's team, and you're going back to the the state final. What does that say about this program? Well, we have a couple good groups of uh, seniors coming through. Uh, one behind the other we got another decent one coming next year you know I'm not saying we're going to go back to the state final next year but we're going to be fine uh, this isn't a real big senior class we have now it, it's a really good one great leaders but it's not a big one uh, ben zeckman completed five passes two ended up in the end zone uh, how about the job he did at quarterback yeah, he did a great job made a lot of big passes and and, you know, like I say, the same with option teams. Uh, you throw seven passes and you complete five and a couple for touchdowns. That's that's just the way it is And because teams have to commit all their resources to trying to stop the run, and, and then it's hard to stop the pass. I want to get a quick shot of the socks in your hand right mm -hmm. there. So why are you opposed to gloves and use socks instead? Do you really want me to say why? Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> but last week, weren't you making fun of some of your players for using those hand warmers? Well, hand warmers, I, I find funny. I, you know, I say every all the women in the stands are where are using hand warmers. Uh, Jokingly, I, of I, course. I, yeah. And, <laughs> well, that, and that's fine because they're in the stands. Yeah, right. Uh, I go back to Bud Grant and the Minnesota Vikings, and he wouldn't wear them at Min in Minnesota on uh, on the 13 below zero days. So, uh, but I do, uh, I don't wear gloves, but uh, I do wear these. Actually, Tom Baldwin, it was his idea. And, uh, you know, you don't want to mess gloves up. <laughs> I, I won't say why, but uh, that's why I wear socks instead of gloves. <laughs> Well, I appreciate it, and uh, good luck in Hershey. Thanks.